Okay, welcome everyone. We're gonna look at general solutions. We're gonna look at how about how are you going to go about solving general solution? What you need to know to be able to tackle these questions. The first thing that you know is that when you have um angle sine angle equals to a particular number which is called n, that number must be greater or equal to minus one. You cannot have a number that is smaller than minus one. The sign will have no solution. And you may not, you must not have a number that is greater than one. The sign will have no solution. If this restriction is satisfied, then you're going to have solving for x. You're going to have x is equal to the RA stands for reference angle plus 360 times k. It's because it's a general solution, so we have that. And the 360 is from the sign period. You have two solutions for sign. The other one is x is equal to 180 minus reference angle plus 360 times k. I am going to show you how to use, how to calculate the reference angle. And you need to add that as well, that k is an element of integers. So if you are given cos, same restriction, but with cos, the two, it also have two solutions. It's plus reference angle plus 360 plus k and minus reference angle plus 360 plus k. With tan, tan doesn't have that restriction. You can have any number. But tan have also one solution. is reference angle plus 180 times k. Um, remember the period for tan was 180. It is very important for you to memorize these formulas before you start doing the problems. Right, we're gonna look at the different kinds of general solutions that you, you might find in an exam. Let's look at that. Right, when you have memorized the different ways that you can, you can use to solve the general solution, these are the types of general solution. You actually have five for grade 11 and six for grade 12. The first one is where sine theta is equal to cos theta. The second one, using co-functions. The third one, requiring factorization. The fourth one, using the square identity. The fifth one, using reduction formula and negative angles. And the sixth one for grade 12, using double angle. Now, it is very important to know when you get a question, you look at a question and you decide which, which one is it. Because they are, you use different methods to solve them. So if you don't know which one is it, Number one, you need to know which one they are there. Then you decide which one is it. So we're going to start with the first one, um, where sine theta is equal to cos theta. Cos. Right. Um, this is the first one. In a question paper, they might ask you like this, solve for theta, where sine theta is equal to cos theta. Now you need to spot on how do you see that is the first one. With the first one, you will have sine, angle, and cos, same angle. If the angle is not the same, then it's not this one. You cannot do what I'm going to do now. The, this angle, the theta in this case, whether, whatever angle they're giving you, it should be the same angle. So if it's like that, then it means it's the first one, and you solve it by doing the core ratio. You're going to divide both sides with cos, theta, divide with cos theta, right? This is the core ratio, cos sine theta over cos theta is tan theta. Cos over cos gives you one, right? Now, I want you to pause the video and go and get your calculator. I'm gonna show you how we find the reference angle. Do you remember? When we're doing all those equations, they were saying reference angle plus reference angle. So I'm going to show you how you find the reference angle. Let's go get our calculators. Right, we have our calculators. The equation says tan theta is equal to 1. So we're looking for the reference angle. So we're going to go shift and then tan and then 1. Then equal sign. Then that angle that you get is a reference angle. So the angle is 45. So you, let me do it again. You're going to sh go shift, tan, 1, equals to. Then our reference angle is 45 degrees. 
reference any squares to 45 degrees. Right at the beginning of our lesson, we talked about the different solutions that you have. For tan, you have one solution. You need to memorize those solutions, the different solutions that you have before you go to the exam. So for tan, we said theta is equal to reference angle. In this case, our reference angle is 45. So you're not going to write the reference angle. You're going to write 45 degrees plus 180 times K. And you also need to add that K is an element of real numbers. Then this is your general solution. This is your answer. It's done. This is the end of this lesson. With We're going to do other videos for the other different kinds of general solution. Thank you for watching.